Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Bow Wow situation, honey. Now, I was busy editing my other video. And as soon as I logged into Twitter, I seen Bow Wow was trending and everybody was at me talking about TT. You see what Bow Wow said? You see what Bow Wow's talking about? And like I said on Twitter, once again, our friend Bow Wow is back again with the foolishness, okay? Nothing Bow Wow does or says ever ceases to amaze me. Go on ahead, y'all. Grab y'all's teacups, okay? Because we are gathered here today to sip some tea, bitch. Let's go on ahead for this Bow Wow roast, okay? Have a seat, get comfortable, sip this tea, and we're gonna break down this Bow Wow situation, okay? So what went down is that basically last night, Bow Wow decided to get onto Twitter and become all, you know, philosophical and all political and, and let folks know about his political knowledge. And he wanted to get all conspiratorial and talk about the Illuminati and how the powers that be run the government. You know, basically trying to sound stupid smart. Yeah, one of them conversations. So he's telling all his followers that he's not going to vote because, you know, it doesn't matter who wins. We don't choose the presidents and, you know, all that stuff. So one of his followers asked him like, okay, well, Bow Wow, that's fine and good, but don't you feel like you should be obligated to vote, you know, due to the fact that your ancestors basically died for you to have the right to vote? You know, they fought for you to be able to vote in the presidential election. So Bow Wow, in return, decides to say that he's not going to vote. He don't know, you know, maybe y'all's ancestors might have died, you know what I mean, for the right for y'all to vote, but his ancestors are mixed, honey. His ancestors are white and Indian, and they got that good hair, okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, Bow Wow sounds like a 14-year-old right now, okay? And I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. I'm just keeping it real. You know, people who scream that they got this and that in them, remind me of little girls on the playground, honey, who can have all black features, kinky hair, brown skin, but they're swapping down that they great-great-grandmama was Indian and Native and half Chinese and everything else. And it's not that serious. Nobody gives a fuck, okay? No one cares. Y you know, you having mixed ancestry does not mean anything. It doesn't make you better or less than, you know what I'm saying? It's just a part of your heritage. And for Bow Wow to say that he won't vote because he's mixed, I just find the whole situation insulting. And when I tell y'all folks drug him up and down social media, honey, for the filth, they are still currently going in on Bow Wow right now on Twitter. I want y'all to go ahead and check out what Bow Wow had to say. And I want y'all to check out social media's response to Bow Wow and all the clapbacks that he received. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary.
All right, so you guys just saw the comments and what folks have to say. Now, this whole situation is sad, okay? I'm going to need Bow Wow to have several seats in the parking lot right along with Keisha Cole, and they can sit out there in the parking lot and fry fish together all day, every day, okay? Keisha Cole tried to do the same bullshit when they asked her to be a part of Black Girls Rock, and she said that she couldn't do it. Why? Because her daddy's Italian and she's half mixed. And what's so funny is about six months ago, Keisha Cole found out that her daddy is not a white Italian man, but that her daddy's a light-skinned black man who has has his shit together who had no idea that he had knocked up Frankie so she's basically got an egg on her face because for years she's swarping down she was mixed and biracial I find it funny that both Keisha and Bow Wow and Bow Wow's not even that light-skinned he's more caramel to me but because they have you know caramel or more light-skinned features they swarping down that they're mixed and somehow that makes them feel special or whatever it's funny that Bow Wow wants to claim this mixed heritage now but yet and still when he first came out he had no problem taking black money making black music Music, working on black networks like BET. He wasn't screaming that biracial stuff when he was calling himself the Prince of BET. Now was he, okay? And the sad part is that you will never have another race be ashamed of their own heritage. It's only black folks who do stuff like this, who are so quick to denounce what they are or to claim anybody else. You'll never see a Japanese person or a Korean person jump on Twitter and be like, yeah, my great, great, great grandpa was black. They're not claiming that shit. You know, even when we don't see those features within ourselves, we'll still claim some shit from way back when. You know, it's really, really sad that that's his mentality in 2016. So after getting drugged for the field, Bow Wow decided to prove to the world that he is mixed and he decided to post a picture of his father, y'all. I want y'all to go ahead and check out this picture of his daddy, honey. So yes, that is Bow Wow's daddy. Um, he swears up and down that his daddy is he swears up and down that his daddy is white and Indian. But from the looks of that picture, that man looks like a light-skinned black man or possibly a biracial black man, okay? Um, what I find funny is that he wants a pat on the back because his father is this biracial, light-skinned, racially ambiguous man. But the crazy thing is this man has not been in Bow Wow's life. He didn't help raise Bow Wow. He didn't pay child support. He didn't see about Bow Wow's well-being. Bow Wow has caught this man an alcoholic and an abuser. He's never spoken well about his father, but now all of a sudden he's team father because he can prove to the world that his dad is mixed. Spend more time trying to big up this man who was not in his life than even bigging up his black mother who raised him. And I also got to blame the mama because I feel like, well, what was she teaching Bow Wow that he feels the need to proclaim so proudly now in 2016 that he's mixed? Had they been drilling this in his head his whole life that he's mixed and he's biracial and everything else because I've never heard him talk about this until now you know Bow Wow sounds like a damn fool like I said before he can go sit in the parking lot with Keisha Cole and fry fish because Bow Wow is just embarrassing himself at this point in time you know he claims that he doesn't want to talk about nothing serious he won't speak on Black Lives Matter yet and still he ain't got no problem running his mouth about Amarion and his girl you know what I mean then they ask him about voting and instead of him saying something intelligent as to why he doesn't want to vote he says that he doesn't need to vote because he's mixed. And basically, his mixed peoples didn't go through the civil rights and didn't go through slavery. Maybe y'all's peoples did, but his peoples didn't. You see how folks act when they get money? They start acting like them new blacks, honey. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet-ass situation. Once again, concerning struggle rapper Bow Wow, honey. If he would put as much energy into making music as he does sitting his ass on Twitter tweeting all day, he'd probably go somewhere. But because all he wants to do is just sit on Twitter and run his mouth and, you know, just constantly start shit all day. That's why his career is literally non-existent, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.